Hi guys, Mac here. So following the recent videos on desktop virtualization on Mac OS, I was asked about building Windows 10 machines on my Mac, either in Parallels or VMware Fusion. I've done a video on how to do it in Parallels, so I thought I'd do one on VMware Fusion as well. And it's pretty easy, surprisingly easy in fact. So let, let me take you through the process. So the first thing we need to do is get hold of a copy of the Windows 10 ISO. Now we can get that direct from Microsoft from this website. I'll put the link for that in the description. So what I'm going to do is just select the edition. There's only one in here at the moment, which is just Windows 10 from April 2018. I then want to select the language. I'm going to go for English. And then it's going to ask me for the 64-bit or the 32-bit download. I'm going to go for the 64-bit one for the purposes of this run through. Let's let that download and we'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, that's all done. That's all downloaded. So what I'm going to do now is just fire up VMware Fusion, which is here. Now, depending on whether you've got any machine set up already, you'll either get this wizard or you will get the virtual machine library, which I'll show you, which is there. Now, if you don't get the wizard, the simple way to set up a new one is to go to the file menu and select new and that will bring up this wizard. So I'm going to select install from disk or image because we're going to build a machine from that ISO that we've downloaded. So let's do that. Now it has found that ISO that I've downloaded but if it doesn't you can also search for it with that use another disk or disk image. Now with the easy install, we do have the option of entering certain information. So for example, I'm going to set it, I'm going to get it to set up an account for me. But what I'm not going to do is enter a Windows product key. Now, if we don't enter a product key, it won't activate Windows. And of course, you'll also have to choose what version of Windows that you want to install. I'm going to go with Windows 10 Pro. If you do have a product key, you can also enter it here as well if you want to, and it, it will auto deploy it when you actually install the machine. So I'm going to go with that. Continue without a key. Now, this is really around how isolated you want to make your virtual machine, whether you want it to be completely separate to your Mac environment or whether you want to share things like folders and desktops and things like that. So I'm going to go with more seamless because I want to use both together. So I'm going to choose more seamless and click continue. Now you'll notice that the base configuration that it applies is actually quite low. There's only a 60 gig hard disk, two gig of memory and two CPU cores. Now, before I build this machine, I'm going to change that. So the way you do that is click customize settings. It lasts for a name. I'm going to call it Win10 VMW for VMware. And now what it will do is ask us for the hardware configuration. Now the, the things I want to change are really around the processor and RAM and also the hard disk size. So what we'll do is click on processors and RAM. I'm going to change that to eight cores and I'm going to change the RAM to eight gigabytes. Now in terms of the number of cores, perhaps start as a half a number available in your machine and RAM again, if you start with around the 50% and then test it from around there and see if you're getting the right sort of performance. If your Mac slows down too much, then reduce those amounts. And if you want the machine faster, you can allocate more. You do get a fair flexibility in what you can allocate there. So the other thing I'm going to change in this is just the hard disk size. There's 60 gig in there. I'm going to change it to 256 because that's the standard I use on all my virtual machines. There we go. So that's done. What I'm going to do now is let the machine build. So let's click go and we'll let it go through the installation process. And there we go, we're all ready to go. Now the first time you log in, it may ask you to log straight out again. Yeah, there we go. That's part of the VMware tools implementation. So let's do that. There we go. Now, one point I'd like to make, and, it, and in fact, it's where we started with the virtualization videos. There appears to be a performance conflict between VMware Fusion and Parallels Desktop 14. 
Now, I know VMware are working on it because it's causing a few issues like unable to start virtual machines and things like that. So I know I know there's probably fixes coming. So don't get too concerned with the performance. If you're just using VMware Fusion, it'll be a lot faster than what you've just seen there. So here's our machine. Let's have a look at our configuration. There we go. You'll see that we've got our eight cores allocated and our eight gig of RAM. If we pop into Windows Explorer, you'll see all the shares set up. So for example, we're, sh we're sharing the desktop with the Mac. And also if you go into this PC, you'll see our shared folders set up. I haven't actually added any shared folders, but it will, it will add a number of default ones for you. Now, perhaps in a later video, I'll show you how I tune that environment to work better with my Mac and, and how I integrate in all those shares and all that sort of stuff. But at a basic level, that's how you get Windows 10 running in VMware Fusion. Now, of course, you can also fire up multiple copies of Windows 10, and there's also all the good stuff around snapshotting and all that sort of stuff. So again, I'll take you through that stuff in the next video. So let's just have a quick look at the views that we have here. So that's running in a window. We can also switch to a full screen like that. And of course, that basically just takes with your whole screen. It looks like you're using a Windows 10 machine. It's quite powerful working like that and I must admit that's how I tend to use it but that's because I have multiple physical screens on my iMac so I, I tend to have Windows on one of the screens and my Mac stuff on another there is also another mode called unity let me pull that up now if I remember rightly I think we have to change something around the retina view if we try and switch to that so let's go into single window There we go. I'm going to try and change the Unity, but I think we're about to get an error when we do this. Yeah, there we go. To use display, low resolution disable, use full resolution for retina display and virtual machines, settings and display. So let's have a look at that. We'll pull up the configuration, which is in here. Display, use full resolution for retina display. I'm just going to turn that off. We'll have to log out and log back in again. There we go. And just so I can show you what this Unity look, setup looks like, I'm just going to fire up a couple of applications here. It's very similar to Parallels um, Coherence Mode, by the way. So I've got two apps running. I'm going to go View, select Unity. Now, if it's not clear what we're doing there, essentially what we have is our Windows applications running next to our native Mac applications. Now, as to how useful that is, it really depends on your workflow. I find it quite useful sometimes when I want apps that are only available in Windows right next to apps that are only available on, on my Mac environment, so I can have them side by side. So for example, here I can have Microsoft Edge browser on the right, and I can have my Mac Excel on the, on the sorry, my Microsoft Edge browser on the left, and my Mac Excel on the right. So let's pop out of that. So we'll go um, back into a single window there. So there we go. That's how we get Windows 10 running in VMware Fusion. It performs so well that once you tend to go the, the route of virtualization, I'd be surprised if you ever go back to boot camp unless you have any really demanding workloads or you want to do things like gaming. It's kind of cool being able to start and shut down Windows whenever you need to. Anyway, I hope you guys found that useful. This video was asked for and I do like to deliver what, what people ask for. So